Good morning, folks. NASA's website is still glitching, so we're back to using the raw files for the sun here. Despite all the plasma filament activity, we have no umbral magnetism, no sunspot activity whatsoever. 171 angstroms of light does, however, allow you to spot that dark, diagonally oriented central filament. It is itself sitting between the two coronal holes. These streams, once the second one hits in about four to five days, will likely end our month with the same type of geomagnetic unrest that it began. But the solar wind has to arrive first. And thus far overnight, we've seen nothing but a drop back of the pitiful stream we had seen on set already. With this weak solar wind condition, the KP index has dropped out as we await the more intensified streams. If they don't start soon, we'll get a cosmic ray health advisory by the end of the evening. Let's go to Japan. Typhoon core snuck between there and South Korea, but the damage off the wind convergences has been significant anyway. Widespread power outages, a few dozen injured. Little heads up to my northern neighbors. Major cold wave, which you might have been hearing about already in the news, is going to be driven by the jet stream setup. The dip in the core flows over the Rockies is going to draw down tons of that cold Arctic air and then slowly distribute it eastward as the upper level flow progresses. Let's go out to space. Now that two interstellar visitors have been found in the solar system, it appears the forecast for there being multiple new ones every year is looking somewhat up, especially given the ejection-happy nature of nascent systems in many of their models. Link below. Up next, there are now at least 79 independent solar forecasts around the world for cycle 25. This one falls where most are falling, that the next cycle will be somewhere between this cycle 24 and a little bit higher. Recall that in our forecast, we still have at least one full sunspot cycle before any grand minimum would set in. And since most believe sunspots, flares, and CMEs are about to return, let's take a look at a detailed and controversial idea about CMEs. They are saying that often a filament is not the bright core of the CME, but the actual magnetic flux of the sun. Now let's come to Earth and discuss how our ionic system not only feeds up to the ionosphere, but feeds back down through the atmosphere as well. And when it comes to the sun's magnetic flux, it's already known to directly connect with Earth's field and exchange plasma, let alone the brute force introduction of particles from CME impact, and those are the focus of a new book, and one chapter in particular I'm really going to have to find a way to read. Looking at the particle introduction, dynamics, coupling mechanisms and implications, and expressly a better understanding of their effect on climate. This is part of the grand shift in the scientific field that all those extremists marching in the streets have missed. Let's go out to the cosmos next, and we're looking at a couple fails to start. First, sterile neutrinos make about as much sense as the search for dark matter particles 100 million times the size of a proton, but alas, they got their funding, did the work, and found nothing. Same story for the millicharged camp, large potential space of existence excluded for the millicharged wimps and axions. In terms of something real, the lost light around galaxies, the challenges, the progress, but definitively, the fact that we don't yet see it all. We still assign dark matter to these regions, despite everything we're discovering about them. And folks, if you need to catch up or reference some facts and conversation, spaceweathernews.com slash plasma. It's linked for you below. It has the documentary, the professor's responses, summaries, and I'll keep the newest papers up to date down below, periodically turning them into a compact document update. The goal is to make it easy and all in one place for you, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.